Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, second round match between Mordredi and his Wood Elves and El Yodi and his Wood Elves. In the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello! Hello! <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's it. Um, what, a, what a proper elf off. We've got two 11-man elves. Um, yeah. El Yod's got both a tree. Them, both of them have Mighty Blow. Oh god, yeah, yeah, tackle mighty on both sides, but strength on Mordredi's side. Yeah, three strength ups. Yeah, flip me. So he can really fight the tree if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Elliot wants him to, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, was, uh, I was in Art's chat this morning uh, before the game, and uh, Mordredi was uh, asking for like um, just a few pointers like if there was anything that art um felt like he should think about and art was like yeah this game is gonna come down to the first couple of turns who's who's mighty blow starts firing first and with 11 players on both sides that does seem like a fair assessment art does think that art very much thinks of like bash being the be all and end all of matches um, yeah, it's not it's not always true, but I mean it's usually true. You know, like some people yeah. lean the other way and act like positioning is all that matters and removals don't matter at all, which is obviously false as well. So, I think there's an element of truth to it, but uh, I think yeah, it's no, mostly no, going to come down to the one turns, right? Like the the one turns seem the biggest thing for me. If you you know like movement nine mm -hmm. sprint here, yeah, um, for sure. And then uh, then uh, you have uh, like. Is, is any of them going to roll a crucial snake? Yeah, like, exactly. At the wrong yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. crucial uh, moments that, and one yeah. turns. Uh, one it's going to be like three, three, three really key turns in this game, unless the attrition goes like very heavy one way. Uh, that was nice, wasn't it? Hitting him into there and then yeah. getting him. Well done, getting two mighty blow hits. Yep. But yeah, I mean, always whoever rolls the dice, best dice is going to have a big advantage. But yeah, no, it's it's definitely not just who bangs out who. Like, the tree is a big important thing, isn't it? Like, you know, like, does the tree root early? Like, can yeah. Mordredi stay or away from it, the tree? Can it actually, like, uh, soak up, like, a part of the pitch, like, three squares to, to each side of it? Mm. Uh, he's not scared of it, is he? He's, he's letting it get involved here. Going beelining towards the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, because he could have gone up this side, right? There was only one guy holding there, but I guess he doesn't want to get too close. Because yeah, and it, it wanted to thing. blitz with the mighty blow, get that counter hit in. Um, but instead, we see a second KO on. Uh... Yeah, removing I'm himself. Really because he can't, he can't dodge a loner. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two men down instantly. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Might come back, there. both of them, obviously, but mm. not a great start. One of them being the uh, strength for uh, wrestler is also like not what you want to see. No, huge hit there for uh, Elliot. Like as amazing as the strength for mighty blow tackle is, like the stripper is just jug strip is guaranteed to get the ball off his guys almost, isn't it? So yeah, 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 yeah. He would really love to yeah, get rid of him. It's right. That's the that's the real danger, right? Uh, mm. Like. You, ha you sort of, like, getting a hit here on one of the um, dancers is amazing for, for Elliot. Like, already turn turn two, being able to blitz that. Um, obviously, didn't get it down, but, like, he must have been happy to see that coming into the turn. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool move from El Elliot here. Yeah. S cutting off this team, splitting the team perfectly. You could say it was terrible by uh, Maud Ready for letting, allowing that to happen, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're going to go over uh, with a very nice split instead. Yeah. Very well played. I think there was an element of terribleness to it because, like, yeah, I yeah of course. It, but, um, but expertly like, taken you, advantage of. Yeah, like, that, that, and that's that's really a thing, right? When you're playing against Elliot instead of, like, the 50, 60 percenters on, uh, on ladder. Oh, I God. did not like that move. That no. was very. Very, very forced. Uh, you, it's so early. You still have room to back off. Uh, 
it's it's not worth the risk. I mean, it was pretty desperate though, wasn't it? Like it was pretty desperate. There's an edge five dancer there. I mean, he's strength four, so maybe he could have tried. Yeah, but that's to what like that's that. why you carry it on the strength four, right? In order for that uh, dancer to like get minimize um, the impact of that dancer. Like I don't. It, wasn't you, an easy turn yeah. though. Like you yeah, could move over wasn't. here and blitz him, and then like try and get back up a little bit. But it was maybe he's done a pass. Maybe so. Maybe, maybe the play there was because he had like about what four players here. Maybe the play was to blitz that, blitz this guy, and then like move these guys over here, and then maybe he's passed to one of them in a cage, something like that. Like the strength four dancer, strength four dancer blitzes him and screen him, and then pass it to him. But. Yeah, running through here was terrible, but I understand why he panicked because he was in he was in a shit spot, but it was a, it was yeah, a shit yeah. spot of his own creation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, and and like, and, and I think the answer to it is never the three two, like not not in a game like three this. three two. I, I just, three three two. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah. I I just think it, the risk does not outweigh the reward uh, mm -hmm. this early on, like the the. You, you might just lose the game on the spot by like turn three and then be miserable for an hour and just keep piling on mistakes. Yeah, but um, I mean, it, it is what it is, right? On the other hand, if you don't do that, you also might lose it. So you've got to do whatever the right thing is, no matter how shit it looks. <laughs> right? Yeah, no yeah, no, no, of, is, of course, I just don't think it was the right thing to do. <laughs> no, no, I don't think. I, th I think. I think maybe the right thing was to have blitzed that catcher and then pass it to the strength of Yeah. I, th I think you could have like backed off for another turn and like see see if you can create something out of nothing. Um, mm. But like that wasn't it in my book. Mm. Don't well, think it was it in anyone's book. They they, uh, <laughs> they don't like the ball. <laughs> the teams. <laughs> no, but Elliot's got his edge five here now, so he should be able to get it now, yeah, shouldn't he? Yeah. The question is, does he bang it in? Ooh. Won't snake it twice, right? No, it's not possible. It's just not possible. Um, okay, he's not handing off. I was wondering if he'd just hand it off to him and like score. Yeah, but, I don't think. I think. I think the uh, opportunity to stall here is just too good. And then, uh, like, if he can, like, um, get any form of stalling off, like that's that's huge, right? Because they're chaos on uh, on moderate side. It's so, true. so you you want to you want to minimize minimize the amount of uh, kickoffs uh, from here on out if you're alien. Oh, I see, just out of range. But like you know, you don't want to get fucked by this guy. It's the big thing, right? <laughs> no, for sure. But for if sure. he's got out of range, then that that solves that. And it sure looks like he's out of range. Yeah, yeah. So that was. I mean, there, there, that must be in the reason for double GFIs so yes. for Elliot. Like he doesn't do GFIs easily, otherwise. <laughs> No, so yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So yeah, this turn of stall, but it looks like only one turn of stall, right? Like unless yeah, you can... unless like obviously depending on uh, Mordor's turn here, but um, yeah, getting a screen off like should 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 be made difficult uh, by Mordor here. Um, that has to be his priority. Like, don't let Elliot stall this further. Yeah. And then now, now you just hope you can go in one one at at the half. Oh. Is he not out of range? Uh, no, he was he was out of range. I just, uh, don't know what that was. Did he go for? He was gonna hit this thing. The dancer. Yeah, he's gonna hit the other dancer. I think it's too greedy. I mean, I agree. But you're 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 really far behind, so I can see how he yeah, got exactly, yeah. to that arrived at that conclusion. But um, like you're gonna be stuck on a short drive, and you have to force Elliot in this turn. Yeah, and this doesn't do that. No, no, yeah, I, I can, I, but I can understand this point of view at the end of the day. Like he's about to go one nil down versus Elliot with Woody. Yeah, this, this, this is what I meant. Like you, you keep piling on mistakes just because like you took an unnecessary risk too early. Uh, but I mean, the unnecessary risk wasn't even unnecessary. You know that three three two. Like it was the turn before, right? Was the mistake. You, yeah, you yeah. Can, you can say sure that he didn't mistake. solve it in the right way, I, but I don't. Like, I didn't. I still didn't like the yeah, the salute. But, it was that turn. That turn was the yeah. thing. Like that was why he's he's it's it's all of his own making with that just yeah. weird turn, just a really terrible turn. You know? 
This is round two, yeah. Yeah. Like, like I mean, I don't like think Elliot's... he solved it correctly either, but yeah. I think the bigger thing was just getting in that mess. Although I think the reasoning it. here is uh, probably that he can get more more of a chance to turn him over again uh, with three turns. And he gets lucky with no KO returns for uh, more uh... Look at dog. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is looking disastrous for, uh, for Mordred, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, disastrous. Yeah. With down to one reroll as well, like Elliot wants to exploit this and like try to force the turnover again. Um, yeah. And he's got the near natty, even if uh, even if Mordred does go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that, this is like I, uh, what I was saying with the. With with the turn of the mistake, like turn, uh, Mordred's turn two, like that's um, something that wouldn't get exploited by by someone that's like less good than Elliot. Like even like some of the coaches in Chalice aren't good enough to like exploit it as well as Elliot did. Yeah. But like that's 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 what ha that's why you have to play your best. I think like take take those extra minutes, especially early on in the game. I don't know if Mordred did, but like that's I I feel like Mordred when I played him I I played him and he he's been better than that. Yeah. Um, what happened, dog to the dog? The tree was over here. The tree was here, and um, Mordred could have made a non mighty blow blitz and moved his whole team here, but instead he made a mighty blow blitz and had four players here and seven players here, and then. Or, or five players here, six, five or six players here, four players here. So then Elliot split the team, and then he was like, "Oh shit! I'll just, I'll just idiotically dodge through," <laughs> um, and then lost. Yeah. Well, he hasn't lost yet. Don't say it's over. <laughs> it is Elliot, so <laughs> it is Elliot. He would, yeah. he would castrate us if we said it was over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We do we do have some D and D to play with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jinx this for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. GFI. Yeah, in? this this has got a, got a GFI in surely. No, it doesn't GFI in. Uh, I think that's yeah. Nah, it's probably fine to be fair. Like it, it is would be fine. Really shit, wouldn't it? This this is a uh, textbook from Elliot, by the way. Like, just all right. You didn't create. You didn't have any mistakes uh, on your turn, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna set up like the perfect screen, so you can't like get anything easily through. Hmm. Oh. Well, <laughs> he got through into the KO box. <laughs> yep, and uh, I think Elliot can count the amount of scoring threats. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> looks like problem. <laughs> I think there's a way to answer this. Three dice to tackle. So they both got a bribe off a kickoff result, I guess. So in terms of mm -hmm. inducements, there was just an extra apple for Elliot. Elliot's down because of all the strength four guys, I guess, despite having a tree. Yeah. He's got his scoring threat, sneaky scoring threat there from Eliod. Gets and the power. twice the amount of scoring threats as well. Wow, and amazing. the AV break and the removal. At this point, Art will say, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. He will say it was terrible by Mordred and be overly critic and harsh uh, yes. about turn two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But, but you know, Elliot has been lucky with all the removals as well. Mm. And who knows, if, if Mordred had been that lucky with the removals and his dodge through and his score and stuff, it would have yeah. it would have looked totally different with different dice, amazingly enough. Funny that, how a dice game can be decided by dice. Mm. Oh, first cast goes the other way. Apple, surely. Instant apple fails. Dice it. Mm. 
reroll trying to kill the other dancer. Lovely. Has to dodge. Oh, gets tackled. <laughs> no, he didn't die. Yes. It's only uh, that before he tries anything. Like, he had to dodge, though, right? Because it's too likely to just yeah, yeah, hit yeah. him with a reroll. That. But now he can go for the ball like that. Like, that was. Maybe he had to not do that dodge because now. Uh, but that's the reroll already. Hmm, that does suck. He's maybe got away with this. Is it a GFI Blitz? I don't think it's GFI Blitz, but it be, uh... It was not. And he gets him. Oh, man. Just put him in the end zone first. Ah, uh, ball scatter's perfect for, uh, Mordred. It does. But, I mean, it's just twos, isn't it? He's got a dancer. Yeah, it is. But the pass is not going to be a two, and there's a It'll lot be a of two. twos to roll. Yeah, it's a two. All right, so it depends. So he could dodge out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do that pass. But surely it's better just to leap, or like just go oh, one, yeah. two, three. Or maybe you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? You could just you could just walk. All oh, right. Yeah, around. it could be it, it could be twos. Yeah. Because that's five, so he could just dodge all the way around. Then when he finally uses dodge leap. Yeah, um, or he could just. Yeah, I down. I wanna I wanna max the use of the reroll that I have. Yeah, here's the foul. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he will just dodge it all the way the through. Yeah, not yeah. Time. Gets them all. And then goes around that way and still the two plus pass. Yeah. Oh and man. And the pass is good. Oh yeah. man. Disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that's why. That's why I rate um, Edge 5 higher on Woody's than I rate Strength 4. Yes, I mean they're both pretty amazing. Like the dancer is, is the yeah. best player to get Edge or it Strength is. on. So it is. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, dude, just do that. Yeah, you could go the, the absolute slowest way. Wow. Well, this is looking. Don't say it's over. How many came back? Half of them. Yep, yep, still missing three. Looking pretty bad. Imagine having a string five, edge five. I mean, you, you could never lose if you had that team in, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That, if, that guy, if that guy had mighty blow tackle and your backup dancer was edge six. <laughs> holy shit. Well, Almost as good as having an Edge 5 Natty and two Edge 5 Dancers and not even qualifying for jump. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've taken the cake on the wood off front. <laughs> to be honest. I mean, <laughs> there are two wood off uh, matches going on here. <laughs> one on the screen and one in the booth. <laughs> The, the stall isn't going to be easy, no, I mean, he's down, he is like, oh, well, what? What do you mean the stall? Very long here. It's Elliot. Elliot's got the ball now. It's easy. It's easy for Elliot, right? It's not, it wouldn't be easy for uh, Mordred to stall with eight players, but uh, it's easy for Elliot. I don't know what, what Mordred is stalling for. I just got, I just got Bamboozle concerned. Yeah. Is saying, not sure what I, mean. I was trying to say something funny and I couldn't get anything. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Seven for, I mean, I guess there is the dancer, but there's only one dancer, right? There's only one dancer, so you just, like, yeah. when there's two, it's really hard because one can strip you and the other one can strength four tackle you. But yes, when there's yeah, only one, and, you, and, like, you, and like you can right. position them uh, so that they both threaten you uh, yeah. from different angles, and like you can cover so much of the field with two dancers, whereas with one it's like fairly easy for the opponent to deal with it. Yeah. Modern does seem to have one mission this game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It has shifted from winning the game to killing one certain player. Yeah, it's just a weird thing to say. Like, Elliot's fully in the driving seat. Like, Elliot's the one who's got the ball and is trying to stall. So I don't know why you would even dream of saying it's going to... I'm not sure if he can stall. He's like three men up. Four men up. 
think it's easy to stall. There's one player. But There's one player on the opposing team. One down, and the opponent is four down. It's a trio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I forgot about that, Kaz. Yeah. You can even sell this apple. guy. That's why you can't uh, induce extra apples. They always fail. Yeah. There you go. The yeah, it's really uh, hard to stall against the strength four dancer. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, not if that is strength four dancer it. leaves himself standing next to the final tank. Top stall here. <laughs> You could say it's GG adjacent. He might even just start farming passes, honestly. Even uh, even Eliod. Yeah. I know Rick could be doing five vanity passes here. <laughs> By now. Yeah. Oh, you can pass with this guy. You can get one on this guy, get him a level. And uh, put him in MVP range. Put him in or get level two Linos and put the dancer in MVP range and... Uh, Put him in a VP it, range. Lots of things. It does seem like uh, Mortar had zoned out a couple of turns ago. Um, yep. He's just gonna let. It. He's just gonna let Elliot do the passes. Look. Yeah. Just negate any other SVP for him. Yep. Which is fair enough. I mean, it's over. It's over. Yeah, it looked like he did check after turn two. To be honest, it was it was it was a bad it was a bad mistake versus Elliot with Wood Elf. They, he would have got away with it versus a lot of people, and versus maybe Elliot if Elliot had dwarves or whatever. But when when Elliot's got Wood Elves, you cannot yeah. afford to do as weak a turn as what uh, Mordredi did. Is Elliot the second best Wood Elf coach all time? Uh, yes, Elliot is the best, so Elliot 2 is the second best. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I think there was someone that's actually above Elliot. No, Elliot's the best. Elliot number one. Alright. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. We made a joke about some race, like where he was number two. Oh, Ducky's number no, one yeah, now. Yeah, it was what he's, yeah, because uh, he said... He was uh, number one. He was number one, Elliot. There, there was someone asking something in chat about Wood Elves, and then Ducky responded, and he was like, no, wait, oh, okay, wait. If there's <laughs> anyone that's actually allowed to answer that, apart from me, it's Ducky. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I was just mistaken there, fair enough. It would be pretty glorious. Like, if Elliot had used, yeah. if Elliot had used, Woody's every season, you know, for 38 seasons instead of using like every race there is in the game and just like, you know, not really caring and stuff, he would have won Chalice, wouldn't he? Like, multiple times probably. Yeah. If he'd approached it like Crucifer, which he could have done, like Elliot, Elliot did qualify 38 games with every team and that, you know, and he's done. Yeah. He has, he has been quite committed, obviously not as, uh, not as. He's like, been committed in a different way, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. With a different mindset yeah. and approach. Yeah, but in a way he's been as committed. So like if he had yeah. been committed like Cruz rather than yeah. like Elio, no, he would have definitely won multiple chalices, in my opinion. Hello, Dimrath. Oh Dimmy, taking a break from tabletop. Love and it. drinking. Presumably. Oh yeah, it's water bowl, isn't it? Water bowl, oh, how's it going? Dimrath? has treated you well, Dimmy. Dimrath back in his hotel room, maybe on his phone, thinking, "I need some gym before I go to <laughs> before I go to sleep." Oh, we all think that. He met Hamas. <laughs> Was he as toxic in real life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hamas, glorious Hamas. Right there, you go. Um, congratulations, Mordred. Congratulations, Elliot. Yeah, it was just that that second turn, glorious. wasn't it? The, the, the no, self team split. Elliot did capitalise perfectly. Oh, you know, all credit to Elliot. Not that, don't defend. be too harsh on not to be too defend. harsh on, uh, on Mordred. It was great by. Uh, Why don't eggs um, tell jokes? Yeah, because it yeah, cracks sure. them no, up. I agree. It was like <laughs> a very good player maximising uh, the 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 chance that it was given, like making the absolute most of it. Yep.
And thank you very much, Rubinio, for staying fantastic for 11 glorious months. Nearly a who year. What a terrible dad joke. And uh, thank you, Daedle, for coming in and being on comms. Very good. Glorious. Well, thank you for having me. Four. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.